Hi Tenfold, my name is Mbali and I would really like you guys to help me with this question. 2,000 rands was invested in a fund paying interest percent per annum, interest compounded monthly. After 18 months, the value of the fund was 2,860. Calculate the interest rate. Thank you Tenfold. So the 2,000 rand was invested in a fund paying I percent per annum. Okay, so that's obviously the interest rate that we need to find. I percent per annum interest compounded monthly. Also very important, okay? After 18 months, the value of the fund was 2,860 rand. So it says calculate I the interest rate. So immediately in our little love letter, you know, Compounded monthly means it's compound interest. And that should immediately spring forth the formula to you. A equals, wow, check that out. Compound interest A equals P1 plus I over how many monthly or compoundings there are per year to the power of N multiplied by M. Just immediately, you see compounded, it's compound interest rates. Now, after 18 months, remember N is always expressed in years. So that means that we need to convert our 18 months to years. 18 months is easy, it's one and a half years. Okay, so now we need to identify the variables in our equation. So we know that after the 18 months, we have 2,860, which means that this final amount is our A amount, our accumulated amount. And 2000 would be our principal amount. So now, easy peasy, substitute it into the formula. We have 2860 Rand is equal to 2000 Rand. And because it's compounded monthly, we go one plus. We're trying to find I. Remember, that is the interest rate that we are trying to calculate. I all over compounded monthly, which means that it's divided by 12, 12 months in a year. Remember that. And because it's compound interest, we raise it to a power, and that is 18 months. Remember, this N times M over here is the same as saying the number of years, which is N that we have, multiplied by the number of compounding. So if I said the number of years is 1,5, and it's compounded 12 times in a year, we're going to get 18. So that's where this goes over here, 18 months. Okay, so now all we have to do is manipulate our equation. So what Sia Bonga tried to draw in his episode yesterday, guys, if you caught it, is that in finance, please, 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 please don't round off prematurely. If you have a calculation like this and you're doing divisions and then you're taking the nth root of something and then you're subtracting one, please, please, please don't round off until the very end because the moment you round off too soon, it's going to affect all of your other calculations. So if I round off now to the nearest, let's say, whole number, that leftover decimal that we rounded off is going to influence our calculations. Okay, so please guys, try, I'm going to write it out as if you can do every single operation in one step, which means that you have no rounding off issues. Okay, let's see what I'm talking about. So, the first thing we're going to do is divide both sides by 2000 to get rid of this 2000, because remember, we're trying to isolate I. Okay, so we divide both sides by 2000. So that's going to give us 2,860 divided by 2,000 is equal to, and now we're just left with the brackets, all raised to the power of 18. Now, in our next step to try and isolate I, what do we need to do? We have to deal with this bracketed situation. So how do we get rid of raised to the exponent of 18? Well, we need to 18th root everything. So on the right-hand side, left-hand side, we're going to have this fraction and we're going to take the 18th root of that fraction because if we 18th root this whole side, it will cancel out that exponent. So that leaves us with just the bracket. Okay, so now how do we further isolate I? Well, before we can deal with the fact that it's a fraction, we need to take away that one. If we subtract one from both sides, 
the 1 minus 1 will give us 0. So we've got our lovely 18th root here, 2860 over 2000, subtract 1 and we're going to get i over 12. And so now it becomes really easy to isolate i, we multiply both sides by 12 to get rid of the denominator on this side. So we're going to have this entire expression, 18th root of the accrued amount over the principal amount, minus 1, all multiplied by 12. And that is going to give us our interest rate. Now remember guys, when you deal with your interest rate, remember if I say it's compounded at 12%, Okay, remember whenever you plug that into your formula, you divide by 100 because percent means per cent, per 100. Okay, so once we've worked all of this out, we're going to get a decimal, but remember, interest rate, because you divided by 100 at the beginning in your formula, you need to multiply by 100 to get to the actual rate. Okay, so let's work this out first. Let me get my calculator up. So, type it in exactly how you've written it here. Open brackets. Now, to get to the 18th root, we shift x to the power of something and we're going to get this here where we can fill in which root we're trying to get to. So the 18th root, now we have a fraction. So 2860 divided by 2000. Remember to get out from under the square root, press right twice and then minus 1. All close brackets and then we multiply that by 12. Okay, and we get 0, 2408. But remember, this is if we've divided by 100 to substitute it into our formula. So in order to get the actual interest, I over 100 would be this. So to get to the actual interest rate, we multiplied by 100. And remember your decimal stuff, if you multiply the number of zeros in your 10th power, is the number of spaces that this decimal needs to move. Okay, so you're going to get 24,08%. Okay.